Well, YouTube is just one, and this is my 36 gallon aquarium, bow front. I'm giving it to my girlfriend. It used to be where I kept my fancy goldfish. And now she's turned it into a tropical tank. We her tropicals from a 20 gallon to the 36. We're doing a lot better. We've added a couple. The tank was already cycled, and her fillers were cycled. You know, bacteria lives on everything, so we put them in here, brought up the temp, moved them over, and they're doing great. She's added a couple neons and a couple cherry barbs. And a couple guppies. Because they're all schooling fish. They all do best in groups of six. The water is just absolutely crystal clear in this tank. There's a little reflection from the window. I wish I'd get rid of. She has neon tetras, cherry barbs, little, what are they, quarry cats. He's a cool little guy. Guppies. There's one that I really like. Here he is. Looks like a flame. She has some big fat Molly. He likes to boss everybody around. He's hiding right now. And she has some ghost shrimp. And they are really timid. When food comes out, they walk around like they own the place. And Filtration on this tank. Got a corner filter with activated carbon and some pot scrubbies in it. A little bit of this stuff. Zeolite crystals. It's basically controlling the ammonia. I don't think it does. Put it in there anyways. There's the Molly. There's the bully. He's pretty, but he's a bully. He takes up about as much room as a goldfish. You need like 20 gallons for that guy. About to move him to a 20 gallon tank all by himself. So you can put the other fish in. It's planted. We've added lights to it under the hood. Walmart sells a little kit. And it's actually pretty good. It's a $20 kit. Find this. Switch to this. Just hook it up and suction cup it on there. And here it is without the light. And with the extra light. Big difference, right? She doesn't have the filter that came with it. She has the Aqua Clear 30. And she's got lava rock, bio balls, and ceramic rings in there, and a coarse sponge, and a Penplex Cascade 1000 with the flow turned way down. I really like that about these filters, able to control the flow. And that's stacked full of lava rock and ceramic rings. Got a little activated carbon in there, I think. In there, we got the coarse sponge and a lot of filter floss. Polishing the water. And man, is that thing doing a great job with it turned down with a flow rate. It's on like 265 gallons an hour. And we just, I turned it down about halfway. And it's just filtering that water over and over and over again before it spits it out. I have T's and control valves. I gotta fix that hose. So she had bubbles come up out of the tree. We got a pre-filter on the pen plaques. 
We got a 150 watt heater back there set at 79 degrees. I gotta give it to her. She's really doing well with these fish. If it was up to me, it would have been all chop or <clears throat> I would have put another couple of goldfish in here, fancies that I wanted. Another rancho, panda, randa, dragon eye telescope. And she talked me into the tropicals, and I'm really happy she did. I. Right. She does a lot of work researching these fish, what's compatible, what pHs they like, you know, what temperature, what foods they eat, which ones can live together, which ones won't nip. The tank really came together. I actually like it better now than when I had my goldfish in it. Still like my goldfish the best though. But anyways, that's the 36 gallon bow front by Aquarion. Nice tank, crappy filter. If you have anything to comment, any likes, you know what to do. Thanks.